the Sine Tuesday don't direct President Oga President Mamadou Bouhari, uh, 30 billion loan requests under the federal government 2016 to 2018 standard borrowing plan. Go there committee on to the local and foreign debt for more legislative worker. The Senator Oga, Senator Yahaya Abdullahi, we present the loan request for plenary, and the loan request will continue to collaborate criticism from different stakeholders inside the country. Even said they say Senate President Ahmad Lawan, he give Yani say the National Assembly if he approve the loan. Oga President Buhari for one later on say the date go November 26, 2019. Yani said the Eight National Assembly say they will approve only one part of the standard borrowing plan loan. Request them to the forward give them inside September 2016. This one as they say make the federal government put the matter for hot project when we say concern mining, power, health, agriculture, water surplus, uh, water plus education sectors. The Senate say they go raise the petroleum industry bill, electoral reform amendment bill, and the amendment of the 1999 constitution if they resume their meeting for January 2020. The president of the Senate, Ahmad Lawan, when we say the touchlight waiting the Senate don't do for the past six months, he said the Senate don't improve their relationship with the House of Representatives, the executives, and critical stakeholders for the country. Senator Lawan promised the Senate say they could do every to see say they pass the electoral reforms amendment bill ahead of the next general election so that if it come out with it, they stop the passage of the bill for the 8th National Assembly. The 9th Senate has enjoyed a harmonious working relationship with the House of Representatives and the executive arm of government. The benefits of the harmonious relationship with the executive are evident in the timely passage of the budget and finance bills and the prompt, prompt, prompt assent by the President to the Deep Offshore and Inland Basin Production Sharing Contract Act Cap D3, LFN 2004, Amendment Bill 2019. Our desire for cordial relationship with other arms of government notwithstanding, the Senate and indeed the Ninth National Assembly will continue to firmly exercise its oversight role on the executive agencies with a view to ensuring transparency, accountability and good governance. I assure you that the Ninth Senate and indeed the National Assembly will not betray the trust of the people. Some of the bills that we accorded priority when we returned from the Christmas and New Year break in January are the Petroleum Industry Bill, Electoral Reforms Amendment Bills, and Amendment of the 1999 Constitution. The Electoral Reforms Amendment Bill is a priority because of the urgent need to improve our electoral processes and skewer the democratic gains that were made in the Fourth Republic. We want to pass the bill well ahead of the next electoral cycle in 2023 and avoid the political hit and pitfalls that imperil the efforts of the Eighth National Assembly, which passed the same bill close to the last general elections. We are not oblivious of the interest and concern some of these bills have generated from the public, but we must not forget that lawmaking is a rigorous process that allows for all sides of the argument to be heard and the true will of the people established before a bill becomes a law.